First, determine your sill type. If you have a short sill, one that stops short of the exterior trim, a filler board may be needed. Measure, cut, and install the board under the trim so that the top is even with the sill. If your door swings in, cool will mount on the outside of your home. If your door swings out, it will mount on the inside. Make sure you have all of the necessary parts. These include latch housing, latch hook housing, two tracks, sill plate assembly, five one and one quarter inch housing screws, and five three quarter inch sill screws. All you need for the job is a power drill screwdriver, and for doors less than 68 inches wide, a hacksaw. Cool is designed to fit door trim openings between 68 inches and 72 inches without modifications. Openings less than 68 inches will need minor track modifications. For door trim openings measuring less than 68 inches, you will need to cut the track to fit the door width. For example, if your door is 66 inches, subtract this width from the 68 inch standard width. Then add an additional 1 and 7 eighths inches. This leaves a total of 3 and 7 eighths inches to be cut from the ends of the top and bottom tracks. Determine which side you wish to open and close, and make this the latch housing side, the side without the slide bolts. Insert one end of each track into the latch housing. Make sure the screen threads through the tracks. Slide the sill plate assembly onto the bottom track. Then insert the other end of the tracks into the latch hook housing. Place the screen assembly onto the door sill. For flush and short sills, the top of the track should be flush with the edge of the sill. For long sills, the assembly rests on the top of the sill. When installing the screen assembly, make sure the housing flanges are snug to the edge of the door trim or brick mold. Then insert a housing screw into the pre-drilled screw hole at the top of the screen housing flange on both sides to hold the frame in place. Be sure not to tighten completely. Next, center the sill plate assembly on the door sill. Then slide the sill plate assembly extenders to each side to fill any gaps. Drive the sill screws 4 inches from either end and 10 inches to the left end, right of the center of the sill plate. All sill screws should be installed in the outermost channel 1 quarter inch from the front edge of the sill plate. Insert the housing screws into all remaining pre-drilled holes on each vertical housing flange. There are two on each side. Securely tighten all of the screws. Now, deploy the slider bar with the hook until it reaches the middle of the track. Mark this of the slide bolts on the sill and top molding. Release the slider bar and drill quarter inch holes into the sill and top molding. Deploy the slider bar with the latch hook to the middle of the track. Drop slide bolts into the top and bottom holes. Deploy the slider bar with the latch until it reaches the middle of the track and latches onto the hook. If the top slide bolt is not extending far enough to engage in the drilled hole, loosen the bottom screw on the slide bolt bracket. Slide the bracket with the slide bolt fully extended until it is engaged in the drilled hole. Retighten the screw. The handle lock assembly should face the inside of the home when installed. If you have a door that swings outward, you will need to move the handle lock assembly to the inside of your home. Here's how. Engage the lock and remove the two screws from the handle. Remove both handles. Remove the latch from the slider bar and reverse it so the logo faces the inside of the home. Then press the latch over the slider bar. Place the handle with the lock on the logo side of the latch. Align and insert the screws through the screw holes. Position the remaining handle over the screws. 
and align the six small dimples with corresponding indentations on the other handle. Finally, tighten the two screws. That's it! In just minutes, your cool installation is complete. And thanks to our limited lifetime warranty, you can enjoy a lifetime of fresh air.